And one thing that's always been true when it comes to Halo and the community and Forge is that people have wanted to recreate experiences that they've had previously as in remaking maps but in the modern engine. And in this video I'm going to showcase some of the best Forge maps that have been recreated from previous games in Halo Infinite for you guys to check out. Now all the links to everything will be linked in the description down below guys for you to go bookmark for yourselves. Now, I didn't cover every single one that was good. There was plenty of great maps out there but this would be like an hour long video so maybe make it a little bit of a series. If you guys like to see more content like this make sure to tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video and channel and let me know you guys want to see some more content like this. But without further ado let's jump in and check out these forge maps. Alright this is the remake of Guardian and this spawn point is first of all right on point where the spawn should be. This is like two scale, dude. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at this. Let's kind of walk through. RP walk. This is, oh my god. Look at the look at the environment that they kind of built around the skybox for this too. I think they used the underwater environment for this, but like, oh my gosh. This just feels right, dude. Oh, what's kind of the big reveal here? Oh. <laughs> this looks so good, dude. Oh my goodness. I love this. You can crouch jump this. They did. They even did the height of the jump properly with the crouch jump, just high enough for the crouch jump. Oh my god, the detail on this is incredible, dude. I am. You're basically playing Guardian on this map right here. This is really freaking cool. Like all the weapon placements are very similar. You know, here's a brute shot, but they put a cinder shot, so it's kind of the same thing but different. You know, but like you can see like the lighting that's kind of swaying over here and stuff like that. Like every bit of this is just so amazing dude oh my goodness this is like jump to the top mid area right here this just feels like guardian if it was in halo infinite right now i i couldn't imagine anything better but you know i do know that there is another person making Gar a guardian remake as well we'll see how theirs is but like this is a high bar set right here man and i love the little indications of the little arrows pointing down right here so you can jump up and down now I do know like in classic Halo, oh, in classic Halo they put in the jump. You can kind of do like the classic Halo 3 jump right here. Let's see if we can pull that off like this and you kind of jump up. Yeah. And of course it's way easier to do it in Halo if it was in Halo 3. But like you can kind of see like even that attention to detail is there for this thing. Oh, that'd be totally me to be able just to annihilate myself in the process of just laying on the map. By myself, oh my gosh. Oh, uh, they even have like the uh, blue app, uh, visual hologram effect thing that was up here. But I remember it, like in original, it's kind of like a map or something. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, dude, this Guardian remake is really on point. I am kind of jump struck by this. Sniper rifle that spawns here and you have another sniper that spawns here? That's kind of odd. You're thinking about like a gravity hammer here. Maybe it's just because I spawned in like ranked FFA settings, but yeah. But other than that, man, like this is like pretty much as accurate and as true as possible with some extra visual flair, like with like the vegetation and stuff like that. Right but yeah, man, this Guardian remake, it's on point. I like it a lot. All right, here's another throwback. If you guys remember Combat Evolved, Chiron, Chiron, however you want to pronounce it, TL34, basically the teleporter map. And like, dude, these teleports look just like they did in CE. You can kind of look at it and go like, yeah, it looks a little bland on the texture, but like, I mean, that's Halo CE for you, baby, you know? And this looks just like the CE version. Like this is, looks so good. I'm surprised they're able to avoid any kind of texture glitches or anything like that. But yeah, this is, well, frankly, just straight up incredible, man. Now, this has always been like a fun, like Fiesta random party kind of mode map just because of just like, yeah, it's so random. It's so just wherever you go, you don't know what where the teleport is taking you. It's just like back in an era when before three lane maps were like even a thing. This is where Chiron DL34 kind of sat. And dude, like if you're a CE fan such as myself, you remember the good old days and playing on this map with like shotguns only or something like that. With like one, we already were one shot the whole time. Like, yeah, like that's. Oh, dude, this is so well done. It looks so much like CE, but just like with a higher fidelity. And I love it, dude. Like me, as someone who grew up on playing Combat Evolved, that's where I first started playing Halo like this. This is it, man. This is incredible. I love this. Now, of course, we can't talk about map remakes if we're not talking about Unique's version of Lockout, which is just 
so incredible this guy does a one-to-one -one recreation of lockout and like guys it's lockout like it's no other better way to say it but it's just lockout in halo infinite which is of course absolutely incredible i've played some custom games on it i made a video on this map too um, I think it was just a quick short, just kind of showcasing the map and like what Unique does is really cool where he does like a one to one recreation of these maps where like in another program he has the map imported like into Blender or something like that, figures out all the different points of interest like or the different bullet points or like the points in the air where they need to look around and oh my god look at this bottom area guys, holy crap. This is just straight out of Halo 2 man. And basically he just copies all the points and then just puts them into Forge and then just basically uses it as a way to trace the map essentially. And yeah, it's Lockout guys from Halo 2. It's incredible. Now this next map isn't quite available yet, but it has to be an honorable mention because currently Infinite Forge is working on a recreation of Damnation, but in the banished art style and just from the shorts that he's shared about what he's been putting together it is absolutely jaw-droppingly gorgeous and it's very likely it will play well just as good as damnation if not maybe even a little bit better if it forges here just does an amazing job of just grabbing the art style and the aesthetic and just making everything look just right his attention to detail is absolutely insane so at the time of making this video it's not available but definitely once it does go live guys i'll just have to make a separate video on it by itself because this thing is just looking so freaking good. Now I'm sure some of you old school fans might recognize this map. This is a recreation of Longest. Looks like we did have some kind of texture glitching happen right there, but it's Forge Beta. I mean, that's kind of what happens. And basically, you can think of the member of the Longest map from the CE. Well, this is it right here, this time in Halo Infinite as well. And again, like I think this person just did the aspect ratios of everything just right, like and scaled things properly for Halo Infinite's gameplay. Because one thing to kind of like make a one to one recreation, the hard part is that like your player speed and stuff like that is, isn't one to one like it was in CE. But like this right here, guys, like is once these kind of like texture glitches get figured out a little bit with Halo Infinite's Forge, like this is on point, man. Like the what all the grenade placements are on point. I think yeah, why we walked past the shotgun earlier, which is right over here. I wonder how they did like the ladders. Is it like a lift or something? Okay, so it's like a lift, you go up, so there's no ladders in this game, obviously, but that's where the shotgun would spawn. You jump over here, jump back over this side as well. There really isn't much in the way of weapon spawns on this map for some reason. Now, I am playing the arena free-for-all mode, so maybe they just haven't really placed weapons in there. But, I mean, when you played longest back in C, like, all you ever used was just, like, the pistol. And it was not even, like, that serious of a map. Like, it's meant to be, like, a map that's kind of designed to be just kind of like a party game kind of thing. The hardest part I think would be that unless you knew this map, you wouldn't really think of this being like a stair up weight case up here, you know? If they were able to find a way to kind of make it a little more visually obvious that it's a staircase, besides like because when you're walking when you're in the middle of the gun fights and everything, like I can imagine it not really being that obvious for a player. Like you just think that just kind of some lighting, you know. But other than that, like this is on point, man. I love this. Now I know I already covered this map in a previous video, but I just have to put this in this one because this is Definitely one of the best remakes I've seen in Halo Infinite. This is like a banished version of Narrows, if you guys remember that classic map from Halo 3. One of the things though, I, he did make some uh, changes to the map that kind of like make it a little bit more infinite or maybe improve the gameplay even a little bit, especially adding in these barriers right here. And then you can still shoot through them just fine. So if you want to do that, but it just guides a little bit of cover. So then when you're up top mid, that you don't have the ability to get instantly sniped off, which we, I'm sure we've seen a million different of uh, those montages racing up here with a sniper rifle picking up spawners and things like that. That's actually, I think, a good change that they made for this map. Uh, recently, they actually added in a little bit more atmosphere when it comes to the uh, environments around the outside, which is fantastic right here. Uh, a significant change that they made is that they don't have a rocket launcher instead they have the heat wave bottom it but this looks like god this looks incredible the whole theme of it being kind of like on like a banished like tractor kind of system i don't know what you call it the big thing they also changed up is the landing pad i'll show you what i'm talking about so we go through the jump right here and normally with original narrows you're able to do like a crouch jump up to this platform obviously you can't really do that now so it's kind of forcing you to either go bottom mid or go up these stairways so that's where it's spot it's a little different I would have liked to see that uh, traversal be possible. But overall, man, this is a pretty true, accurate version of Narrows. I just love the banished theme to it. 
That's one thing I think if you're kind of recreate a map, either do it exactly one to one or take your own interpretive style like uh, Angelito did with this map and make like a banished version of this to kind of fit like the Halo Infinite art style in a way. So, I mean, again, excellent job. On this. I couldn't imagine anyone doing much better than this when it comes to a Narrows remake. And I do know that there is another group of people making a Narrows remake that's a little bit more accurate to the original visuals with the kind of like a infinite halo 4 kind of look to the whole thing which looks really great uh but i mean it's gonna be pretty tough to beat this because like the black and red is just it's just amazing and i just love the map narrows amazing ctf map so yeah give it a download now i'm sure some of you halo 4 fans probably recognize this as soon as i spawned in here we have a remake of haven yeah i wasn't gonna stick to just the classic maps you know there's some good maps that were made post bungee days and one of those being haven i mean obviously a fan favorite from halo 4 probably because it was like one of the few like really good maps that was in the game but like this recreation is just like as true of a recreation as you can get for haven in halo 4. i mean you have the heat wave down here which is a little different than what we had in the original one i could have sworn that these were like floating a little bit above the ground where you can like throw a grenade underneath this one not so much it goes right through i mean not that much of a difference for me to be honest when it comes to the gameplay here and but yeah you can see like this is just basically haven from halo 4 now in halo infinite which is one of the all-time favorite maps i think just because of how chaotic this map can get oh they had the lifts up on this one here too which is nice you jump the top mid and that's like as you saw earlier you have the lifts there here to take you to top mid over here as well and really actually excellent job with this geometry right here too like it looks just like the uh the real, real version of it from like from halo 4. yeah excellent job right here man like this is haven if it was in halo infinite basically you know like with the graphical quality it does look a little samey when it comes to the texturing on everything but i mean that's kind of like how the original map was as well i think maybe just if the lighting was able to be a little different i think uh, later on they made this like the blue hall and they made that like the red hall if i remember correctly uh in the patch for haven later on in halo 4's lifespan but for the most part i mean you're playing on this map you're playing haven but this time in halo infinite and whew, this looks really good and yeah continue on with the modern halo theme right here we have plaza remade in halo infinite as well one of the best maps probably if not the best map that was in Halo 5, now in here. Now, interesting, are you able to make it this jump? I want to see, because if you can, then it's very true, because that was a very important jump to be able to make back in the Halo 5 days. Oh yeah, you can, on this ramp right here, just make that jump, and you're up to the spot right here, which is, this window was so crucial, you can walk all the way around. But yeah, this is Plaza from Halo 5. Now, the frame rate is a bit rough. I'm kind of getting about 120 frames right now, uh, so they might have to figure out a little bit when it comes to optimization of things. But like, here's where the overshield is, you can jump up here then on top of this ledge up here like just like how you could in the previous plaza but this time in halo infinite here's a little wheel right there you can jump on right you jump up here to clamber that just like you could in halo 5. excellent job with that attention to detail so you know that they played a good amount of this map back in halo 5 to really kind of understand how to recreate it and well they did just that in a fantastic way and did the best they could to maintain the same art style, the same feel, visuals, and stuff like that. It's all there, man. But it's it's Halo 5 Plaza. So if you guys are missing the Halo 5 feels, you still want to be a zoomy boy, but you can't quite do it in Halo Infinite. Well, you have the chance now with Halo Infinite. Now I saw this map being remade, and I saw it on Twitter. I'm like, okay, I gotta get this a download. This is a remake of the map Backwash, this time in Halo Infinite. Now I do think there is a bit of a forge bug issue going on where obviously the atmosphere effect of the map isn't loading in properly it looks like but you can see but just like the way the trees are with the lighting and stuff like that like they put it right on point when it comes to how the original map played out as and so this is super freaking cool i think once the, some of the forge bugs get worked out with hopefully with some updates we can see some things change around but like yeah dude this is the remake of Backwash from Halo 2, this time in Halo Infinite. We check out the center of the map as well, because you know, obviously some of the good stuff is there. We got the tree, fallen tree over here, which has the sword that spawns up here, just like you had in the old game, which can help you then jump over into that platform if you're skillful like me, but I'm not, so that's a problem. Get all the different lifts that take you up to the top mid area with the camo, just like the old version. And yeah, guys, like Backwash from Halo 2. Now, this would look a lot better once the bugs are fix fixed with the visuals. Guess like if you see any missing textures or any kind of missing effects, it's most likely 
because of infinite forge not because they didn't forge the map properly but once you get that figured out like this is going to be playing just like halo 2 so this is really exciting fun stuff now if you know this area of the map you probably know exactly what map we are looking at right here and this map is a recreation of halo 3's avalanche this time in halo infinite looking pretty straightforward nothing too crazy with it you know a lot of similar textures but hey that's kind of like the classic halo art style was it's very linear in a way and you can still go up this ramp which is really nice that's where the sniper rifle spawns excellent right there you also have the shotgun that spawns up here as well now one thing about uh, the weather effects with the halo infinite though as you probably saw when we first walked around right when you're walking through a map and if you're in an interior section like this it still continues to act like it's snowing even though you're like standing indoors kind of stuff so there is that i think there could be a little bit extra polish with this but like functionally this map is avalanche from halo 3 but this time in halo infinite it's basically like a one-to-one -one recreation too this looks super good can you use this as a lift yes you can of course you could one thing i do feel like is a little bit of missed opportunity is not having the halo ring right here if you guys remember that the original avalanche from halo 3 takes place on the reconstructed ring that's kind of being half built that the ring would be right there but obviously this time it's not, I mean, it's a minor touch. I don't really care much too much. Of course, I care more about the gameplay aspect of the whole thing. As it seems like to be the general question when it comes to every Halo Infinite map where it's like, yeah, but what if we add the grapple shot to classic Halo kind of thing? And well, you can do this kind of stuff where you can just get right up into the base and you know have a little bit more fluidity when it comes to the gameplay where it's not so rigid. Cause I remember before having to like go through that little section right over there to get up to the top area. Like it's pretty rather predictable and you make it pretty tough and rather stagnant so maybe helping with like a grapple shot on the map will help kind of even loosen things up when it comes to the gameplay where it's not so rigid and predictable where you can just kind of run up to the side of the base and go like you know what i might get a flank on with these guys right here and that's what the grapple shot so that's amazing but yeah this is avalanche man excellent job i know this one was kind of showcased but i had to like talk about this map and this is the recreation of turf in halo infinite now turf is one of my all-time favorite maps as it's yeah, a map that I think really kind of lends itself to SWAT. I feel like that's, to me at least, is my my interpretation of this map that it's like the birthplace of SWAT, basically. So even though it does look very different from what the original one looks like, but I think this is just like what turf would look like if it was in Halo Infinite. Essentially, a little bit more extra details when it comes to the different types of textures on the map, but like. It looks really different, but when you think about it, it's actually pretty accurate. I mean, they even have like the gigantic archway, right? From the uh, the Halo 2 mission in the campaign, right? For that uh, the highway, right? That we take the tank on. They even create that in the background. They give you a little bit of extra atmosphere to the whole thing. This is just so well done. Taking a look through the hallways right here, just kind of sprint through this guys, so I can showcase you guys the entirety of the map right here. like. All the boxes, all the, every little bit, every little detail is there for this map. It's incredible. Now, no scarab, sadly, but you can imagine how difficult it would be to try to do a scarab. Now, you can't run through this right here, so that's a very good thing. You can't do that. They did try to do it. They crashed a uh, different uh, saber in the ground here, so he's trying to capture that feel so much. You can imagine trying to ca trying to forge out a scarab like that would be kind of insane. But there's a bunch of little things, but they definitely how they took into consideration Halo Infinite's movement because like right there, I tried making a jump. It didn't quite work out. And there's a little hidey hole section. You'd probably see people hiding up in these two corners right here. Do they have the little tiny hallway spot right here? Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? I want to test that one thing though, with the interactive elements like this drawbridge right here, right? This would fall down and create like a little bit of a bridge. Can I melee this or shoot this in some capacity, you think? Or maybe grenade it? Uh, it's not really looking like it, so I think that's going to have to be kind of a static object that's in the map. So sadly enough, you can't really do that. Maybe if there's a way to do like an invisible terminal to kind of make it so you can like just over press B on it or something like that to make it drop down. I think it'd be very much more in the in line with what we expect to see out of uh, a turf map. Because that's, even though like the drawbridge sections weren't really that important to the map, it just kind of helps add a little interactiveness to it to make it just kind of like uh, make it feel like you, you can be in the map where it's not so stagnant and stuff like that, which I really enjoy when I came to the original map. I mean, it's crazy to say this is better looking than Halo 2, but like, honestly, this is what like, I think the map would look like if you if you did the Halo 2 art style, but had the freedom of artistic expression with Halo Infinite's engine. And well, this is what you get. And I think they did a fantastic job, especially with the skybox, dude. Like adding that in there, like I said, also mentioning like the bridge in the background too, it just really helps give you a sense of like, you're in a small section of the city 
kind of thing and just really helps fill in the palette of the map if you will you know so it doesn't feel so empty and blank when these two like areas right here so excellent job man do you ever wonder why we're here well i certainly don't when i'm playing on the coagulation h1 version of essentially blood gulch in Halo Infinite. Now the same Forger did make it the Halo 2 coagulation version of it as well. And I mean, come on, do, do, do I need to say anything about this, man? Like it's, it's Blood Gulch, man. Like one of the most iconic maps of all time made in Halo Infinite. And I did make a previous video kind of showcasing another version of Blood Gulch. That I think it's more true to the Blood Gulch art style. Cause this is kind of more like if Blood Gulch had a bit more of a Valhalla look to it. But the one I showed previously is kind of like a, a larger scale kind of visually accurate but maybe not like gameplay wise accurate as the map itself isn't exactly a one-to-one -one, or this map doesn't definitely doesn't feel like it's a one-to-one -one, but this is about as close as you're gonna get right now and you know whenever you're playing halo you want to play a recreated map what's the first map you're gonna be looking for it's gonna be blood gold it's gonna be a coagulation remake and you gotta find some map that could do it and i can guarantee you that this is the best one you'll be finding within halo infinite right now when it comes to forge like you can have like the rock ledge you can kind of crash behind right over here like the scaling on this map is very well done i would say there is probably some room for improvement it's kind of odd you have like these scrap turrets right here but hey you know what it's kind of make it fun a little bit actually like something to do in the map but yeah like I had to finish off with a coagulation remake, guys, because, like, obviously, Blood Gulch coagulation, it's, like, one of the best maps ever created in Halo's franchise. I mean, obviously, I mean, like, there's memes about, like, where boys became men was on Blood Gulch, and this is the version that I am very excited about, and you guys are now have a chance to check it out. Now you know now you know more about it, so jump in. Oh, we gotta check out the cave, dude. Oh, yeah, we can't just, like, walk around here and not check out the spooky cave section right here. Like, I just saw the visual effects. I'm like, okay, yeah. We gotta make the sprint over here and yeah so far real so far so really good right now i mean this is definitely feeling like the good old ce days right here with the spooky waters like that it's kind of cool like that like the uh the hologram effects right here kind of floating around right there which is actually kind of gives a little bit of a forerunner feel to it a little bit of mysteriousness happening right there but yeah guys and the teleports work just as they do and every section of this map is Basically, playing as you would expect for a Blood Gulch remake. So guys, we're definitely excited about this one. If you want to see some gameplay of the Banished remake that we talked about in this video, well, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.